Warning, these videos contain copious amounts of vocal fecal matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Meh, <laughs> fecal matter. <laughs> oh god. <clears throat> What's going on? Uh-huh, I'm the chair back. And this is the next episode. Where's my character? I'm another chick. Yep. She doesn't look like an employee. She doesn't look like she has an invitation either. Look at that, we got subtitles now. Yeah. Ninja skills. Looks like she knows the layout. I'm gonna follow her in. Okay, I'll try and find out who she is. Be careful, Cortez. Hack, don't worry about me.
If I know Crow, this company will be some kind of front. Locate his office and see what you can find out. Down there, nice. Alright, great shot. Wait. Oh shit. 
Time grenade, time grenade, time grenade. Time grenade! Oh, shoot. Shoot. Not so good now, are you? Absolutely piece of shit. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything else here. This place is pretty secure. We need to find a way to get some of these doors open. Soda! A cleaning robot? That must be able to open doors. Try activating it. I am the sweet sap BPT cleaning robot. I am ideal for both office and domestic use. No job is too small. I love filth, and my full range of accessories ensure no crevice is left untouched. I bring a smile to any owner's lips. Never again feel ashamed to bring people into your home. Once you experience me in action, you will never want to do it yourself again. Oh, there we go. This fire suppression system will probably open the doors to allow evacuation. Try to activate it. I can't even see it. Fire. Yay, my girlfriend is now finally done with school. Stay away from the corner. Oh, so. What? Yeah.
awesome. Why do creatures with incredible strength, toughness, and ability to control energy always have to be bent on destruction? Oh, yeah. Oh, my jeez. Come back into the door, dude. The back into the door. Woo. Hey, wait, we got these. Cutscene. Oh God. Saving data. I really wish we could play that whole fucking four Cortezes thing. That would have been awesome. Hey, maybe we can do that in another segment. <laughs> we'll just specifically cut to that. <laughs> yep. Since we should do it any level we freaking want. <sighs> Doctor Cortez and Doctor Amy. Doctor. Doctor. Get your Relax. melons out for the monkeys. Relax, I'm a doctor. Hold it right there, Crow. Hand them over. Hey, hand what over? The time device. The crystals. What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me, Crow. Wow, that's I a lot know of shit. everything. <laughs> I know you use the time device to travel back to 1994 and tell your younger self to carry on your twisted genetic experiments using the power of the time crystals. Really? Really? Well, uh, yeah. Hmm. And exactly where do I get this time device? Don't be alarmed. It's me, your younger self. I've come from the past to give you this time device. You must take it and... Uh, I think I know the rest. Ah, well, okay then. It's the red button. <laughs> Ta-ta! I'm off to meet the river! <laughs> series. Cortez, they didn't start making those until the robot wars. Almost 200 years from now. That must be an early prototype. Yeah, you're right. 
I looked it up, and the company that made them was Ultranet, a weapons company founded by Jack Crown. So? So look at his picture. Crow! Right! Of course. That younger Crow must have jumped even further into the future to continue his research, knowing that eugenics would eventually be compromised. You got a location? Sort of. It looks like Ultranet was a whole complex of buildings. I can drop you in the area, but you'll have to find Crow's lab by yourself. No problem. I think I can take it from here. Right. All set, Cortez. But be careful. There's a war going on. <laughs> I'm ready. Woo! Best cutscene. All right. I guess that's it for this one. Yep. Sorry about the type of difficulties. I'm having a little bit of a